Hello, hi, I'm Christian Nikkei, Captain Herbert, and this is Hydrate. Now, Hydrate is a 2D point and click adventure game that was developed for the monthly adventure game studio competition, and it's available right now, this uh, this build on Game Jolt. So, let's check it out together. How to play? Well, cursor animates when you float over something. When you click, a menu comes up, and you can direct uh, or use an item you've collected. Alright, let's go. So, we have a story. A mining station in neutral space. The Neutri sometimes host space talks between warring races. The Neutri being, you know, an alien race by themselves. Diplomats representing the Asholian and Pasiphon races came here recently. Okay. <laughs> the Asholians? Jesus, that... Okay, the talks did not go well. I, I, I would expect that with, with, with Asholians uh, in the mix. No one knows who struck first. I'm gonna say the Asholians. No ship survived the battle. The station was heavily damaged. Water recycling and storage systems are lost. Only a few station crew members survive. Time until rescue, one month. Water ran out two days ago. Ooh, okay, so they don't have a month. And that's why the game is called Hydrate. Alright, so we're in a... Bar, I guess? I was going to feel sorry for the plant, though it appears to be fake. Mm. Alright, Clitorian? <laughs> we have a Clitorian here. Barman, oh, a new try. Ooh, and some uh, booze. Can I get some glass? Lots of glasses here. If only there were some water to serve. Oh, we have beer! Can we get a beer? They say this beer this char is discharged from some hideous beast. Actually, I made that myself. Oh. Well, you're not exactly a beast, Blobby, but you are a monster. Veganian vodka? Hmm, but not the uh, vegans you're thinking of. <laughs> oh, wine. Oh, come on. Wine, wine is something that uh, you can actually drink. Lots of different wines from around the galaxy. Uh, ale? Asolian ale. They brought in, they brought it in specially for the peace talks. Right, right. Alright, well, uh, little red cup. This red cup is smaller than the blue cup. Really? Big blue cup. <laughs> okay, larger than the red one. I, that's weird. Chair, can I take a chair? Can I take a seat and drink with the new try here? My sentient space hemor oh sorry hemorrhoids 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 oh hemor it's like hemorrhoids except yeah space version. Don't like me sitting on hard surfaces. Oh dude, you you should really you know look into that. You know you can get like I don't know pills maybe a cream I don't know. New try. Hello. Hello there. Here. I guess not. Nudge. Let's nudge the new try. Wakey, wakey. Mm. Come on now. You're the only new try left on the station. We could really use some help. Mm. We're all going to die here, man. Mm. Okay, that's not gonna help. He's just out of it, I guess. Okay, let's talk to the Clitorian. Why not? I mean, he might have something of value. Uh, hi, my name is Char, station engineer. Pleased to meet you. I'm Dirk Kossar. I suppose you've heard of me. Um, you do look familiar. Wait, you're that guy from the dumb reality TV show. Well, I wouldn't call it dumb. Don't they put like grossly unqualified contestants in ships and shoot them off to random parts of the galaxy for laughs? Look, I'm a very famous adventurer. I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, right. Uh, let's see, the drink? Well, how's the drink? Not great. It makes my spit thick. Ew. Okay. Hey, you're a Clitorian, aren't you? Yes. Is that the planet surrounded by those two nebulae? Yes, 
the Nebulae uh, Majora and Menara. Oh really? Oh Jesus Christ. Anyway. Um, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's let's just go over that. I heard a rumor about a hidden planetoid through that area. Oh, let me guess, it's it's the uh, yeah, Gisportia. Yeah, yeah, of course. Something, it's a myth. Not everyone knows how to get there, but if you can, it's worth it. Really? Uh, I bet it's worth it. Yes. So, how did you get onto the station? My ship came into difficulties and crashed. Luckily, I managed to send out a distress call. I've been waiting for a ride home ever since. Oh, so he wasn't even here for the peace talks or anything. He just uh, happens to be here. Look, you're in a rough situation. We're in a rough situation here. Have you anything to offer? Well, my ship is still out there. I can give you the coordinates. You might be able to salvage something. If you can find a way to get there, of course. Okay, thank you. Alright, so we got some coordinates, and I can give the coordinates to, the, to this guy? I'd ask him about it, but the poor guy is catatonic. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to the barman. To the blobby barman. The water situation, well the water situation is bad, right? I could really do with a drink. Unless you want alcohol, we don't have anything left to hydrate you. Hmm, probably not a good idea to have alcohol. So everyone else is getting drunk? The blue guy is completely out of it. What about the other guy? I've been spitting in his drink. Wow, he must be really desperate. No, I just don't like him. Oh, why? Oh, okay, I, I think um, I think the blobby barman is... He's not interested in clitorians, he's more interested in... Other, he's gay. That's that's basically it. The peace talks. So how exactly did we get in this mess? From what I hear, the peace talks uh, started with uh, deciding what everyone should order to eat. The Asholians wanted meat, but of course, pacifons are strict vegetarians. The neutri were e were easy either way. So the blue guy over there was in charge of catering and suggested the earth dish known as pizza. Oh, yeah, okay, that sounds like a good idea. The diplomat seemed very pleased with that decision, so blue went on his way. Just one problem. Right, we don't have any earth food on the station. Exactly. So blue started panicking, he even came in here and shouted to the crowd. Is anyone here lactating? Guy was so dedicated to making cheese from scratch, he even stole a mining drone to try and milk a space manatee. Ew. So the diplomats are getting hungrier and angrier. Now we're in this situation. Wait. So they... So they fought? They... And did all this just because they were like, hungry? Wow. Those Snickers commercials were really too when... Uh, you know, when, when saying, you know, you're not yourself when you're hungry. Uh, okay, the drunken you try. That blue guy looks almost dead. He blames himself for our current situation. Done nothing but drink alcohol for days. Funny thing, he's the highest ranking crew member left. Head caterer. I don't even know the guy's name. Huh. Alright. What do you know about the spacer? Clitorian. Bit of an adventurer. He was rescued a couple of days ago, a couple of days before the incident. Practically never left the bar. No, oh, so he's a, just a drunkard who's uh, okay. Screen, what can you do? I like to watch Captain Calamity or Can Cosmonaut. Okay. Mm, oh, vents. Don't fancy climbing around in there. That's where the Xenomorphs live. Wait, don't, don't you mean the Xenomorphs? Don't you mean the Xeno... Yeah, exactly, don't you mean the Xenomorphs? There's a, they're a cross between Killer Insects and Xena Warrior Princess. What? Okay, that's not a thing. Or, or maybe this? I don't know. Then I, yeah, I mean, I, I, I... Actually, you know what? 
I'm thinking that if if Xena Warrior Princess would have been like on TV in recent years, somebody would make a porn, you know, like a like an erotica, it's write novel or or an erotic story where Xena has sex with a xenomorph. All right, this guy, Zagraxian, Zagraxian, okay. The name Shar, station engineer. Krifkinshmir, at your service. I'm a salesman. Quite a situation we're in here, huh? Well, yeah, actually. How do you find yourself here? Zagraxian Pepper. I'm a salesman. Turns out Neutri are quite allergic to the stuff. Oh, really? That might come in handy then. But what the diverse species... Uh, but what would the diverse species... That passed through here, I was able to sell one case at least. Can I have some peppers? Unfortunately, my ship was destroyed in the incident, along with my cargo. I have a few samples though, here. Oh, thank you. May I ask about the arm? Quite the conversation piece. Get people talking about the arm, soon enough you sold them more some product. It just looks cool. Wait, so you did it yourself? Body mod modification is all the rage on uh, Zagraxia Prime. Okay. Any idea how we could get out of this mess? Hmm. If there's no water on this station, perhaps there's some out of it. You can access the scanning computer with the hologram. Okay. Hologram. So this. Okay. So this is back at the bar. And doesn't look like we can go anywhere else. Okay. It's hologram then. Hello, you have reached customer service. How may I help you, sir? Uh, well, our supplies are dangerously low. Next resupply due in one month. We won't last that long. I'm sorry, is there something else I can help you with? Uh, distress call, yeah. Has anyone made a distress call? No record of, this, of a distress call. Would you like to make one? Yes, obviously! Error 404. Guess that system was damaged too. Alright, let's see. What is your purpose? This artificial intelligence was dis uh, designed to welcome new arrivals and deal with problems staff and visitors may have. Any high ranking crew member can access various tools for, uh, when their workstation is not available. Alright. Run system diagnostics. Access denied. Hmm. Mining though? Dispatch mining drone to this location. User not authorized. Security clearance? Which users have security clearance? I'm not authorized to list personnel. How does one get clearance? Security chips are implanted in the brain via the nasal canal. Oh. Alright, so this one won't talk to me. But if I can wake up the new try, right? Maybe maybe he'll be able to use the, the hologram. So let's use the uh, Zagraxian pepper on him. Just a little under the nose. Oh! Ew. Whoa, his security chip just flew out. Wait, out of his nose? I'll just borrow it. Oh. Can I talk to him now? Hello there. Oh. Okay, so he still doesn't talk, but he just... Uh... Alright, but we got the stuff, see? The security... Okay, so we got the security chip, so let's see if we can trick the hologram into thinking that we have clearance. Yes! Full access granted! Yes! Alright, alright, good. Now... Let's see... Diagnostic, yes. Run system diagnos diagnostics. Diagnostics, okay. Access granted. Without water, oxygen recyclers will fail in two months. Gravity field operational. Water supply and recyclers, arrow 404. Defense systems damaged. Docking system functional. Five life forms detected on board. Wait, five? One. Yeah, okay. Three at the bar, me and this guy, okay. But what about the xenomorphs? Description xenomorph unknown to database. I'm telling you, they're real! No, they're not. You just. You, those are just your crazy fantasies, man. Uh, let's see... Scanning computer... Authorized user detected. Welcome party boy 9000. <laughs> uh, let's see... Scanning? 
I'd like to run some local space scans. Access granted. Oh, okay. Unidentified objects. Palladium. Palladium. Iron and nickel. Carbon. Oh, this. Debris from the battle. No, not that. Okay. Iron and nickel. Carbon and sulfur. Carbon and sulfur. Carbon and sulfur. Oh! Hydrogen and oxygen! Ice water! Well, ice. Water in this case. Uh, well, water, ice in this case. Downloading coordinates for the asteroid. Alright, so we got the... So we got coordinates of an asteroid that has ice on it. Can we go there? Request access to drone control to visit these coordinates. Access granted. Nice! Large asteroid and ice. This drone's mining laser was damaged in the incident. I'll need an alternative. Hmm, nope. Nothing worth mining here. Okay, so I'm gonna need... Oh, let's go to the ship, that guy's ship. Dispatch mining drone to this location. Access granted. Oh, cool. The ship? Illegal cargo? Turns out the reality TV show might be an elaborate smuggling conspiracy. Hmm, interesting. This thing is really messed up. Uh, hull plate. This hull plating is the cheapest one available. The ship looks kinda cheap. Oh, a cannon! This should come in here. Okay, so we got the cannon. Uh, okay, okay. We got uh, we got the cannon and we, we can probably use that, right? Uh, let's go back to the asteroid. And let's use the uh, cannon on the ice. This is an, a traditional mining laser, but it, I should be able to cut some ice off. The drone can bring it back to the station. Did we get it? Did I get the stuff? Oh yeah, I got it. Okay, ice. Okay, okay. Well, let's get... Uh, what, to the barman, I guess? Give, give him to, the, to him? Here's some ice to melt. Now make me a glass of water, please. Yes, we repeated visits to the asteroid with the drone. The remaining crew managed to survive until rescue arrived, so that's one month later. So that was it? Okay, I guess that was it everyone. Thanks for playing, I hope you enjoyed this short game. Well, you know, it, it's, it is short, but uh, you know, pretty cute, and, you know, the, the, not, not very challenging, but you know, still nice. Uh, music by Eric, testing by Cassie BSG, love from RetroWall, that, that's the developer. Whoa, and I guess that's the... <laughs> I guess that's the Xenomorph right there. Uh, with, yeah, the Xenomorph slash Xenomix. You know, also has that, that, um... I don't know what, how it, uh, what, mm, what the name was to Xena's weapon, to that freaking like, circle thing, blade, I don't know. It just cuts through stuff, but yeah, that that's a that's a xenomorph. Uh, so everyone, that was Hydrate. If you want to check out the game yourself, or you want to show it to someone else who might uh, enjoy it, who likes adventure games, then you can check it out on Game Jolt right now. It is available for Windows uh, for free. So just uh, download it, maybe leave some feedback too, say what you like, what you didn't like, and hopefully we'll get to see more adventures either in this world. I mean, I. I you know, why not? A search for the Xenomorph, maybe? Why not? That would be maybe something cool to have. Or or a horror point-and-click adventure game where you have to escape a, a ship or a space station where the Xenomorph exists. So, you know, and you're kind of under pressure by it and you're chased. That would be pretty cool, but, you know, we'll have to see. For now, check out uh, Hide It, everyone. Again, it's available on Game Jolt for Windows. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up real quick. And if you like what I do here, consider subscribing. That would be actually immensely, immensely helpful. If you could subscribe, click on that notification bell too. And um, spread the word. Check out the back catalog. That's also super important because I have tons and tons of videos. I have over... Okay, let me see. At this point, over 2,200 and... 
10 videos so there's lots of cool games mostly indie games to discover on there uh, and if you can after you you know uh, enjoy the back catalog take half a minute to see the ways through which you can support me you can either give me a direct donation through paypal or you can support me with the purchases that you make on the epic game store the humble store fanatical in those cases you you only have to use either an affiliate link or a creator tag you don't pay anything extra for the stuff that you buy so it's a very very small thing that you can do but it goes a long way it's it's one of the best um, options for supporting me especially if you don't have money to give directly and that that's per that's fine you know i'm not complaining any any support is greatly greatly appreciated uh one last thing check out the brave browser to, to the referral link uh brave browser is based on chromium so it's going to be very familiar to you if you use chrome if you use opera i've been using it for two months now and it replaced chrome for me it may do that for you too because it's um you know it's open source Based on Chromium, look uh, looks really good. Uh, it has a built-in ad blocker. It blocks trackers. The people there have um, have a new idea about um, a different type of an ad ecosystem in which you can get paid if you choose to see ads. Of course, you don't have to see ads, but if you choose to see ads, so check it out. Try it. Let me know what you think. Uh, uh, that's the Brave Browser, we'll link in the description. Thanks again everyone for watching, and until the next time we see each other, hydrate properly, and have an awesome day!